Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the Avata 2 and the Yaw Tumble. Now I'm going to go through what actually causes the Yaw Tumble to happen, what to do if it happens, and how to fly in a way which is going to help you to avoid running into the Yaw Tumble. Now I want to start off by saying if you're flying using the motion controller, you're much less likely to encounter the Yaw Tumble than if you're flying in manual mode using the FBV3 controller. This is because the Yaw Tumble is generally because of how you're flying the drone. And the way that the drone is tuned to fly with a motion controller, you're much less likely to run into the yaw tumble. Okay, so what actually causes the yaw tumble? Well, in order to understand that, we need to understand how this thing actually flies. So when this thing is hovering in the air, we're taking a nice clean air from above and around the drone, and then the propellers are pushing that air downwards, which result in a lifting force keeping us up in the air. But the problem is the air coming down off the propellers is really turbulent and really messy air. It's not clean and it's not efficient to be in. But that doesn't matter when you're just flying along like this because you're taking in all the clean air and you're shooting out the messy air behind you. Now, the yaw tumble actually happens when this situation arises. So we're flying along like this and then all of a sudden we spin around but the momentum is still carrying our drone in this direction. What then happens is we're flying into all of that really messy turbulent air coming off the propellers and that can cause the propellers to stall out which gives us a snap on one side which is the yaw tumble. Now on some other cineops that have more power than this and the original Lavata, they can sort of ramp up the motors and react in time to catch that but on these guys we don't quite have enough power which is why they stall. They do catch it eventually but it's not able to react quick enough in order to stop it happening completely. So in order to get around this basically we just need to make sure that we're flying efficiently and properly and trying not to do that spin and heading back into our own prop wash. Now you can also notice this say if you're descending straight down have you ever noticed you get a shake in the goggles everything looks a bit you know unstable that's because you're descending through all that really messy turbulent air and your propellers just aren't able to work as efficiently as if they were in nice clean air. So in order to fly properly and avoid the yaw tumble what we need to basically do is make sure that we're always heading in the direction of a clean stable airstream. So we don't want to be turning around and going back into our own turbulence because that's going to cause the yaw tumble. So we need to just make sure that we're banking nicely into our turns and that we're actually flying around the turn rather than spinning in the turn and then just punching back the other way because we're going to run into that yaw tumble if we're doing that. So what you need to think of is try and think of the drone. You want to try and fly it like how an aeroplane flies, you know, nice and smooth and around and that way you're going to keep in that clean air. And something else you can also do is if you increase the power during the turn it's going to push you away from that turbulent air and it's going to help to keep you out of trouble. There is also another flying technique you can use to avoid the yaw tumble. It's a bit more of an advanced flying technique, but I'll try and describe it to you here, but I will show you as well when we do a little flight in a moment. And it's doing what's basically known as the outside stance position. So normally when you're flying through a corner, you're flying around it like this, which is the normal basic orientation. Now the outside stance is when the drone is pointed like this and flying around the corner like this. And what this does is it keeps the propellers in clean air whilst you do a really tight turn. Now it's quite an advanced sort of flying practice to sort of get down. So don't try this when you're just getting into flying manual mode FPV. But it is something that you will learn and develop over time. But try and just concentrate and try and think about the way you're moving and try not to fall into that messy turbulent airstream. Now on a windy day it can be even easier to encounter the yaw tumble because the drone can get pushed around by the wind and you can sort of, without realising, get pushed into that dirty turbulent air. So if the wind is blowing in this direction and you're flying on a downwind leg, when you turn around you need to make sure that you're putting on enough power so that the drone is not sliding and going back into its dirty air so that it's hooking and making a nice turn and you're overcoming the force of the wind which is trying to push you into that turbulent airstream. Okay, I feel like that's enough talking for now. So I'm going to power everything on. I'm going to fly around. I'm going to show you the yaw tumble in action. I'm going to show you what to do when it happens, how to react. And then I'm going to show you how to fly in a way which is going to help you avoid encountering it. So uh, let's get up in the air. Okay, I'm actually going to show you some flight footage from two different locations because I did film this video earlier today, but my audio got a bit messed up. But I do have some really good examples of getting into the yaw tumble from that earlier flight. So I'm going to show you some of those uh, while I show you all of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to start off just by demonstrating what I said at the beginning when we're descending straight down through that turbulent air. Now, stabilization is turned off, so we're going to see now we're descending and we've got a horrible shaking as we're coming down through that turbulent air. It's really not a good way to descend. Okay, so a better way to descend is actually to descend while still moving forward. That's going to keep you in clean air, so I'm going to demonstrate that now. So if we're descending again, but this time we're pushing forwards, we're staying in nice clean air and we don't have any of that horrible shaking that we had before. 
Everything is much better this time, okay? Right, so I'm now gonna try and put the drone into the yaw tumble. We're gonna flick it into manual mode. And I'm gonna fly around and I'm gonna try and instigate the yaw tumble. So I can see if I'm flying forwards now and then I turn around too quick, go back through that dirty air, we get the tumble. See, and depending on how hard you enter that sort of turbulent air, it's gonna depend on the severity of the tumble, okay? So what you wanna do is try and stay ahead of the prop wash and fly nice and smooth, okay? So if you're flying nice and smooth like this, you're unlikely to encounter the tumble. You can turn a bit harder and stuff. You can still fly in a pretty sprightly way, but you just have to try and avoid flying back through that propeller wash. So if I do it again, fly forwards, spin around, go through that prop wash, and it tumbles, okay? So what do you actually want to do when the tumble occurs? Now, there might be a lot going through your mind, you might be freaking out, but the main thing you want to do is just relax your sticks, see what happens once the drone gets to its attitude and it stops, then just input corrective controls, okay? Now, it might be more severe sometimes than others, but just take a split second to assess the situation and then input corrective control. Don't try and input controls whilst it's tumbling, just let it do the quick tumble, assess the attitude, and then input corrective controls. So let me show you what I mean. I'll put it into a snap again, so let's go here, spin around, and it snaps. I just wait, have a look at the attitude, and then correct the controls. So if we go again, spin, there we go, assess the situation, change my attitude, and continue flying. Now, if you've had a tumble and the drone has ended up like this, all you have to do, input some roll, correct the action, and carry on flying. You'll be absolutely fine. Just take your time and just correct it. If you're high enough, you've got enough time to think. If you haven't got enough time to think, you can also just press the pause button. But I do believe it's better to be able to put in corrective controls rather than relying totally on that pause button. It's there as a last resort, but try to learn how to actually correct things yourself. It's gonna be much handier uh, in the long run. Now the autumn ball can also occur during a descending turn, also because you're going down through more turbulent air. It's more likely to happen during a descending turn than an ascending turn because of just the nature of the way that you're flying. So if I do a descending turn here, see if I can get the yaw tumble to happen. So if I do a descending turn here, try and get it to tumble. Okay, it's not going to tumble. <laughs> Okay, so the main ways that you can avoid encountering the tumble, first of all, is just to fly smoothly and try and picture yourself flying like an aeroplane so that you're constantly moving into nice, clean air. You don't want to be doing too much snappy movements. Now, stabilization is off here, so you're going to see a little bit of wobbling, but that's absolutely fine. Now, another thing you can do is try to add a little bit of power through your turns. That's going to help to push you away from that turbulent air. So like I said, there is also another more advanced flying technique you can use, and that is the outside stance. So normally going through a turn, you fly like this, both coordinated and you fly around the turn. But the outside stance, instead of going around a left-hand turn like that, you're actually going through a left-hand turn, but like this. So you've actually rolled to the right and you're pushing the drone around, which keeps the propellers getting clean air from the front, but you're still actually initiating a left-hand turn. Now, this is a bit more of an advanced flying maneuver. Don't try and learn this the minute you start learning to fly manual because it's not gonna probably end well, but try it in the simulator first. And yeah, flying in the outside stance is gonna keep those props in clean air, and it's gonna really help to avoid that your tumble, but it's not absolutely necessary, you know? If you just fly correctly and take into account your banked turns, you should be fine. Just try and keep out of that turbulent airstream. Alrighty, so we're back on the ground now. We've seen the yaw tumble in action. We've seen how it occurs, how to avoid it, and we now know how to fly in a more proper way to keep our propellers in nice clean air, stay out of that turbulent flow and prop wash, and we're gonna have a much better experience. But yeah, I had to cut out a lot of flight footage from this because as much as I tried, it was actually pretty hard to get the Avata to, to get into that yaw tumble. I really did have to push it to make it happen. But yeah, if you fly properly, you should be absolutely fine. Know what to avoid, know how to react. And the yaw tumble shouldn't really be something that you should be too concerned about. So if you've just got your Avata 2 and you want to know some things you should do as soon as you get it, go and check out this video right here. It's going to give you some really handy hints and tips. And if you want to know the rates that I was actually using on my FPV3 controller, go and check out this video right here. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>